So um, previously we used Gaussian elimination to solve a system of linear equations. Um, the main point of Gaussian elimination was we converted the matrix A in the equation AX equals B to an upper triangular matrix. Okay, so A, a full matrix, got converted through the process of Gaussian elimination to U, an upper triangular matrix. It turns out that Gaussian elimination, uh, the Gaussian elimination procedure actually gives us a matrix decomposition. Not only do we convert A to U, we can also write A as L times U, where L is a lower triangular matrix and the U is an upper triangular matrix. That's called the LU decomposition of A. So in this video, I want to uh, start with that procedure. Um, it will take two videos to fully get the L and the U. But um, to get the L, I have to introduce first the concept of elementary matrices. So an elementary matrix is quite simple. An elementary matrix is the identity matrix with one of the zeros replaced by a number. Okay? Uh, that's an elementary matrix, or that's the type of elementary matrix we'll use in this video. Um, the main idea here is that the process of Gaussian elimination is equivalent to multiplying our matrix A by elementary matrices. I think the easiest way to see that is to just work through an example. I take the matrix A that we've done Gaussian elimination on, and I'll show you in this video how the process of Gaussian elimination is equivalent to multiplying A by elementary matrices. So we're going to do Gaussian elimination step by step. So the first step here is that we uh, have the pivot. The pivot is minus 3. And then we're going to multiply the first row by 2 and add it to the second row to eliminate the 6. So let me write the uh, 2 here. That 2 will turn out to be very important. And when we do that, so just a single step of Gaussian elimination, the first row stays the same, minus 3, 2, minus 1. The second row, then we multiply the first row by 2 and add it, so we get 0. 4 minus 6 is minus 2. And um, minus 2 plus 7 is uh, 5. And the last row, we won't do anything at this point. Okay, So that's the first step, Gaussian elimination. But I want to write that as a matrix product. So I want to say that this matrix here is equal to, this matrix now, is equal to another matrix, M1 times A. Okay? So the, the, the matrix after one step of Gaussian elimination is equal to an elementary matrix times A. So what is that elementary matrix? So what is M1? So what does M1 do? M1, uh, when you multiply A by M1, the first row stays the same. So the first row of M1 is just the first row of the identity matrix. So you multiply row 1 of M1 against column 1 of A, row 1 of M1 against column 2 of A, row 1 of M1 against column 3 of A. So you just get back the same row. So the first row is the identity matrix. The second row of M1, what are you doing? You're multiplying the first row of A by 2 and adding it to the second row. So that's where this 2 comes in. You're multiplying the first row of A by 2 and adding it to the second row. So again, the, the remaining part is the identity matrix. So M1 times A then, when you do row 2 of M1 times column 1 of A, you multiply the first row of A by 2 and add it to the um, second row. Okay? And then the third row is the same. So the third row is just the identity matrix. Okay? So this elementary matrix, the key here is this 2. 
okay? That does Gaussian elimination, okay? Keep going. So what is the next step here? The next step is we multiply the first row by one, right? And add it to the last row to try and eliminate this three. So we still have, we're still on the same pivot, this minus three, right? So we do that. So now we're going to which matrix? Uh, minus three, two, minus one, zero, minus two, five. And then we're just adding the first row to the last row. So we have a zero. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Minus 1 plus 4 is 3. And then this matrix here is supposed to be multiplication by another elementary matrix. So this is going to be M2 times the previous matrix, which is M1A. Okay? What is M2? So let's try and figure out M2 here. Okay, the, we're going from here, right, from this one to this, uh, this one, right? The first row stays the same, so that means the first row is just the first row of the identity matrix. Uh, the second row also stays the same. The second row is just the second row of the identity matrix. And then the third row we got by multiplying the first row by one and adding it to the third row. So we multiply the first row by one and add it to the third row. Okay? That's the elementary matrix. So again, it's the identity matrix with one additional value, uh, non, uh, one zero in the identity matrix changed to a number. Okay, where are we now? We're here, right? Uh, one more step in the Gaussian elimination. The pivot is minus two, okay? And then we need to uh, multiply the pivot by minus one here, right? And add it to the third row to eliminate the minus two below the pivot. So that becomes the matrix, the first row stays the same, minus 3, 2, minus 1. Uh, the second row stays the same, 0, minus 2, 5. And then the third row, we multiplied the second row by minus 1 and added to the third row to eliminate the number below the minus 2, 0. So minus 5 plus 3 was minus 2. Right? And this matrix here now we obtain by multiplication by a third elementary matrix. So this is M3 times M2 times M1 times A. Okay? And then we just have one more elementary matrix to figure out. So remember we have this one here, we have this one here. Now we're looking for M3. So M3, the first row, right, we're going from um, here. First row stays the same. Second row stays the same. Identity matrix, identity matrix. And then the third row was obtained by multiplying the second row by minus 1 and adding it to the third row. So we multiply the second row by minus 1 and add it to the third row. Okay, so again, the key here is this multiplier minus one. And that's the third elementary matrix. Okay, so what have we done here? We have start with our matrix uh, A, right? And um, we're converting now Gaussian elimination, the process of Gaussian elimination, we're trying to write as matrix multiplication, where these matrices are elementary matrices. So I've discovered what is the matrix you multiply A to do the first step of Gaussian elimination. That's this M1. 
What's the matrix? You multiply M1A to do the second step of Gaussian elimination. That's the M2. And what's the matrix? You multiply um, M2, M1A to do the third step of Gaussian elimination. That's M3. So what we found was that then when we do Gaussian elimination, then we have M3, M2, M1 times A in this order, right? And what do we end up with? We end up with this matrix here, right, which is an upper triangular matrix, okay? So multiplication of A by these elementary matrices give us an upper triangular matrix, and um, we're, on, we're on route now to, to find A equals LU, and we'll do that in the next video. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.